What up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy here, Oscar Mike. I'm out, you know, smoking a fine cigar. You guys know how I do. This is a uh, Monte Cristo uh, media uh, cigar. I mean, it's, it's nice and smooth. But anyway, as I sit here and I smoke my cigar, I, I think about something that I saw on Instagram and it was talking about money and not just you know you know chasing money or or or, um having money it was about more or less about the psychology of money um and what people uh do with with money and so i was like man this would be a great segment for me to have on my youtube page or my my vlog as i as i like to say because i'm pretty much just documenting my life and the things that i'm doing and hoping that it motivates others. You know, I talk about in like houses that I bought. I talk, I talk to you guys about stocks, you know, saving money, stuff like that. I just did like a 14 minute video. I haven't dropped it yet. Maybe I'll drop it uh, next weekend. Cause I'll probably drop this uh, tomorrow. Um, Sundays is usually my drop day. So I, I'm gonna try to keep that up. But anyway, um, I just want to talk to you guys about the psychology of money. And I didn't figure this out till probably about 2008. I was 28 years old. Um, as me growing up, you know, my mom uh, was a single parent. She had five kids. Uh, we didn't have a lot of money. My dad, you know, he, he owned businesses uh, and stuff like that when I was growing up. You know, he did a stint in, in prison, stuff like that, um, for, for drug dealing. Um, and so I saw a, a lot of money, right? You know, my dad went to prison. He came home. He pretty much had nothing. Like all the money he made from drug dealing he pretty much didn't invest the money correctly. Like, he wouldn't buy houses. I mean, he had some clubs and barbershops, a bunch of cars and stuff like that. But, you know, when he went to jail, all that stuff got taken away. All right, so let's fast forward to my life. So, you know my parents' life. Um, when I was growing uh, up, uh, let's say I'm talking about 18, 19 years old now, you know, I did some time in the Marine Corps. I had a bunch of jobs and then went on to, to you know, get a commission. Um, I realized that, like, the way that I thought about money was was all wrong, right? When I got around different groups of people, and this was even before, you know, I decided to, you know, go back to the military or whatever. I realized that I wasn't paying myself first. Like, I'd save some money, I'd spend it. I'd save some money, I'd spend it. I would buy a house, sell a house, whatever. I'd buy stocks and, and sell them. And then I would, like, be out of money right after so what I realized that I needed to do was pay myself first. And that's why I started putting money into the stock market. I read uh, Peter Lynch's book, uh, Beating the Street. And it pretty much talked about, you know, paying yourself first or like buying stocks that uh, products that you already use. Like, let's say, for example, like I use a bunch of GE products or Johnson & Johnson or you buy a bunch of Nike. Actually, my son, I have him investing. He's 11 years old. I have him buying Nike and Under Armour stock because we buy a bunch of that stuff while he's playing sports. So anyway, you know, I started dumping money into the stock market, started reading up, read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read this book about, it was called Debt Solutions. I got myself out of debt. Like I cleared like almost $200,000 in debt in like two years, believe it or not. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. People who know me and people who are super close to me, um, you know, they, they, they don't really know that about me. But I'm telling you guys this stuff so that hopefully it helps you in your life that you know, you put some type of plan together to get yourself out of debt or, or you know, be, you know, start investing. And the earlier you start, the better. So me, I love dividend stocks. You know, this is not a stock uh, vlog at, the, at this time. But, you know, I want you guys to, to go and look up dividend stocks. Look up the top 20, 30 dividend stocks right now. And, you know, it'd be a great investment for you to get into probably and also uh the s uh, p 500 like i love the s p 500 top 500 companies in the country uh, i like etfs to follow the s p 500 i think it's fantastic I've, I've done well with that i've bought and sold a bunch of that stuff you know me the money keeps moving right i i, I make money on the stock market i put it into real estate or i buy you know more stocks or you know cds whatever like i i constantly keep the money moving i learned that uh, i watched a, a show dame dash was in he was like yeah i don't save money the money gets reinvested into something else and you see a lot of wealthy people that's pretty much how they use money they use money and credit that way they use the credit for other people's money they make money and then they keep that money moving they put it into something else and there's a lot of tax advantages that are in that as well as well as uh, building a business 
but let's talk about the psychology of money, right? So if you grew up in a household or a family like I did, right, you never really saw the money stay in the household or or even in your community for that. Like Christmas come around, I would want the new Deion Sanders or the new Jordans or the new Game Boy or the new this or the new that. And my dad, he would do the best he could to get that for me. My mom, she had a little bit less money, but she always was, you know, spend money buying me clothes and things like that. Right now, you look at me, you look at most of my videos, I'm wearing, like, I got about 10 uh, Under Armour black shirts. I sweat a lot, so I buy those, right? But I wear pretty much the same thing all the time. And I got money that I can go and buy fancy clothes and stuff like that. I spend a lot of money on my suits because I think it's important for me to look the part, to play the part. But I don't buy a lot of like Gucci, Prada, Fendi, none of that stuff. I shop at Ross or Walmart or whatever because I don't really care, you know, how I look most of the time day to day, right? Because uh, if I know that if I wear my money on my back, you know, then most likely I'm not putting the money in my pocket, which again, the psychology of money. So I see all these people, right? They got these fancy cars, they got these shoes, friends of mine I, I know, family members or whatever. They have all this stuff and then they call me up begging me to borrow a couple hundred bucks to make their rent or a couple hundred bucks because they can't get their kids any uh, Christmas gifts or something like that. You know, they're, the way they look at money is all wrong, right? You get your tax return, you get a bonus from your job or just even your regular pay. You need to take that money and you need to invest it. You need to invest it in things that's going to appreciate value. Homes, stocks, you know, precious metals, things of that sort. Stop wasting your money on needless or useless things. Um, a lot of people that, that I know um, who don't, you know, save and invest, they're not able to leave their children anything either, anything that's worth a value, you know. So, you know, what we need to do, right, is get out of the crazy mindset of thinking that we have to have the newest or latest and greatest, like those people who get every new iPhone that comes out that will cost them, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars or whatever and keep them in debt. They never really move ahead. They're just constantly in the right race. They're, they're turning the wheel. They're spinning the wheel or whatever the case may be. But they never really get ahead, right? So what I need you to do is change the way you think about money. Think about money. Think about the long term when you think about money. Put your money into things that are going to appreciate. Like we talked about houses, condos. Like you guys know, I just bought two more condos. The house in Virginia Beach, own houses, property in Maryland, stuff like that, you know. And I'm not done. Like, my goal is to get 10, 10 passive sources of income. And I'm not there yet, right? I just saw a nice duplex that I would love to invest in. But right now, I just can't do it. Uh, actually, I won't say that word can't because I can do it. And I actually, you know what? I'm probably going to figure out a way to be able to get into that investment, even if I have to take on a partner or two. Um, my goal has always been to get into multifamily homes and I'm going to do it. I'm going to break that. I'm going to get in one this this, this year. I, I'm going to profess it right now. Right now to all you guys out there in Oscar Mike land, all you guys who watch my videos, I'm professor right now. I'm getting into a multifamily home this year. I might have to buy like another two homes this year, to be honest with you. Um, so I want you guys out there thinking differently. I want you thinking differently about your credit. Like usually I don't carry a lot of credit card debt. Right now I have a little bit. And I'm going to have a little bit because I got to, you know, get some stuff together for these two condos that I bought. I'm putting a lot of money into my Oscar Mike Speaks. You guys know I got my website, www.oscarmikespeaks.com. My blog, www.oscarmikespeaks.com backslash blog. You know, I'm getting t-shirts made. You know, I got a couple people who uh, use my services. So if you go to OscarMikeSpeaks.com and where it says book online, people who have booked online to help me set, uh, I'm sorry, to, to have me help set some goals, you know, for them and, and stuff like that. And so things are really moving, right? But it took money to make money. So instead of me going out tonight, it's Saturday night, right? I'm, I'm, I'm home smoking a cigar, listening to Malcolm Gladwell, who's the author who wrote Tipping Point. He's the author who wrote uh, uh, David and Goliath, who wrote uh, Outliers, which is probably like my favorite book right now. And then I'm listening to audiobook again, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which, you know, I've, I've read the book, 
I've listened to the audio book. I bought the book for my son, who's 11 years old, had him read the book, but I still go back and get more and more nuggets, right? Because I want my money to grow. I want to build a portfolio for my children so that they never look back in life, right? And then, and that when the storm comes, they don't sell off our generational wealth, which happens a lot, believe it or not. People sell off their generational wealth. Um, but that's a whole nother segment that I probably dropped for you guys. Again, my goal of this video is to have you guys to take a look at your parents and your parents' parents, right? And look at, you know, how they spent money. Because I, however they spent money, that's what they taught you. And, that, and you learned by watching them. But you can break that mold if you start thinking differently and you educate yourself more about money. You know, read the books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or Peter Lynch's book about beating the street or a book about stocks or even if you just look at you know websites like money talks or msm money whatever the case may be you know you can turn that around you can start thinking about money differently and make the money work for you while i sleep i make money i literally just went on robin hood and bought a bunch of sprint because sprint's going to be doing a merger well hopefully they do the merger with t-mobile and i think that they're going to give you know verizon and at&t a run for their money uh, once they, you know, bring T-Mobile uh, under the fold, but they, you know, the government still hasn't, you know, allowed them to do so. But I think that it's going to happen. So I'm hedging, saying like, hey, look, I should make a lot of money off Sprint in the long term. You know, for me, I'm an investor. You know what I mean? I'm not a broker, or and I, I invest in things. So if I put my money into a business or whatever, I'm expecting it to do well down the line. All right. Don't forget to check out my website. Don't forget to like, comment subscribe um don't forget to follow me on ig at oscar mike speaks please leave me a comment leave me a message hit me on ig hit me at my gmail oscar mike speaks at gmail.com and do it today because oscar mike says so